greatest Chad will go to not to distant lands. Deaner the cat and Roxanne and me and some other people too. It's adventure time. So the title, World's Greatest Chad, that just came from a t-shirt that I made for Chad LeBaron, a friend of mine, and he didn't like the shirt, so I took it back and I used it for the title of my show. That's it. Not a narcissist. I'm gonna get some coffee, and then we're gonna hit the road. Those coffees. Two coffees, please. Thanks, John. Not a narcissist. Where you at? Hey, top one's yours. Thanks. You wanna go pick some pumpkins? Yes. Do you know how a camera obscura works? Um, no. Light goes in through a pinhole, and then it crosses over and goes upside down and backwards on the wall. Under these screens? Yep. Um, leave it closed, I want to be able to film this. I don't know if you can. You don't think it can? You can kind of see the, the outline of the mountain.
hits, it says delete. <laughs> this is my friend Bruce, my friend and neighbor, and we're about to embark on something really potentially stupid. <laughs> Tell us what we're gonna do, Bruce. Next week is gonna come down, but we gotta make sure it goes that way. So we're tying a rope to the top, down around the tree to the front of this truck. Drive the truck this way, pressure on the tree, cut it, boom. And hopefully it'll fall flat right here. There's no hopefully at all. It's not gonna hit your house. No. It's not gonna hit your shed. Eh, no. It's not gonna hit my lady friend. She's hopefully gonna be back there. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanna clarify, you're gonna be you're gonna be cutting this with the chainsaw yeah. as I'm pulling it with the truck. Give it a wedge here. Yeah. And then back cut it here. And it should fall. I'm not gonna cut all the way through so that it doesn't kick. But when you cut the wedge, it'll guide it that way. Can I ask one favor? Can you take this GoPro and tie it to the top of the tree there? I want the perspective of the tree falling yeah, very down. Top, but we'll yeah. get it up there. Just waiting for the cue from Bruce to give it some gas. The tree will fall, and this may very well be the end of my GoPro. Success! I yelled, holy shit! <laughs> so, what's this? That's all the borers, the uh, tr the pine beetle borers they've had. Just eating it up. Did my GoPro survive? Oh yeah, it didn't touch. Thank you, my friend. Can I show you something I just found? So I found this dead bird in the window. Must have been, I, I never go in this garage and he must have been in there for a while. You can see where he tried to like peck his way out. It has a cowl. It has a little point on the top. Maybe a finch. But he probably died of a uh, lack of water. He probably died of sadness. Um, out a little? Out a little? Yes. Now you're going to China. That's. It's kind of good the way it is, I think. Yeah? Yep. Sorry, little bird. Oh. Do you want to say any Wait. final words? Um, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, we commend this lovely little bird to the great beyond. We need a stone. How about this giant cowboy? There you go. Incredible edibles. We'll go and try and take it. Nice. Wait, not done yet. There's a love knot in my lariat. And it's waiting for my blue-eyed prairie pet. As I ride the range all day, I so yippee a tie. Stone squirrels. Here lies the body of a small bird who died of sadness. Looking at it on the Thanks for helping me bury a dead bird, Desmond. There's a 